What is up guys, it's me Apso Habibi. We're continuing our Persia game. And um, there is one achievement we're still trying to get and it's called This is Persia. We need to conquer all of Greece, Anatolia and Egypt. However, as you can see, even though we are the third world power, the Ottomans are still stronger than us. They're right now pretty much I think they're gonna this is gonna be their peak I don't know they might get a little bit stronger a little bit bigger but I think what we first do is we go to the east and we conquer all of India I have my armies already and uh, yeah we just hit this button sanction holy war okay now suddenly we have claims everywhere we'll just conquer we'll just declare war on our war unlike the entirety of India right now because you know why not like I'm pretty sure we can take them on. We're against uh, Jwampur, Bahmanis, Gujarat, Multan, Sindh, Telangana, and the Timurids. And already peace out the first person. I think the key to this war is actually, let's see. Yeah, let's take a battle right here real quick. Okay. So we don't really have much to worry about here. I'm telling you guys, we can we can take on so many people. Our army quality is just so high right now. Compared to them at least. And we're taking engaging this battle where you're getting a river crossing and the this right here we will reinforce in time. It doesn't even matter. Nothing like a good Barrage Obama in the morning. Ah uh, yes. Alright, and we can already peace out Gujarat. Do our little snake. Alright, we peace out Bahmanis only for money and to remove relations with Jwampur. It's very important. We're going to have very high AE, so we need to make sure exactly when our truce ends. We also now can afford level 3 in all advisors, while also making 10 gold a month. Oh, this is going to piss off a lot of people. And now that our truces are expiring again, it's time to hit this button. Sanction holy wars, yes. Oh, look at that. It's time to attack the Timurids. How the great have fallen. They're just rolling over and sieging Uzbek instead of facing me, which is probably smarter considering we would probably stack wipe them. It's actually really insane how fast you can grow as Ardabil. Um, like this is this has only been a hundred years and we went from a one province miner to second world power which isn't too insane because we've done crazier. But still it's pretty insane. And not only that, we're, we're a powerhouse. We make a lot of money. We make like a lot of money, which we can spend on a big military and then use that to conquer everyone. Plus, we're allies with Russia. We do have a coalition though. And it's pretty big. Maybe we fire into it. I may have accidentally just triggered a huge coalition war, but... While some people might save scum and crash their game and try to get more allies. Nah, I think we're I think we're good. I think we're just gonna take this coalition and this is I'm gonna say this right now. This is gonna be the last coalition of the campaign. Okay, after this war, no one will dare join coalition against us. We're gaining money even though we're on our max force limit. We have 117k manpower. We have almost 40 professionalism, 40% army professionalism. Let's just keep our armies together and take some nice battles. And yeah, that's all we need to do. We're going to just go straight for it. Yeah, dude, he's afraid. He's backing off. All right, that's what I thought, dude. But he's foolish and his army separated here. He's going to try to reinforce. And he will reinforce. He will reinforce, yeah. Oh, no, he won't. We'll stack wipe. But he will reinforce on this battle. We're fighting with higher morale. He has better discipline though. It's all down to the rolls. It's all down to the rolls. Here comes his reinforcements. And now, oh my god. We rolled a 1, he rolled a 9. Come on, roll better, roll better. Ah, crap. We did not roll good there. We rolled a 1. 
Again, we'll try to engage away from that 54k stack. It disappeared into the night like a horror film. It's okay. We'll go for these smaller stacks. They're better battles anyways. Again, we're engaging on bad terrain, but our morale is just so high. 5.3%. Our army really can... Stay in battles for long, even after he reinforces with three different stacks. Okay, I might have said it too early, but we still win. No, no, we won, we won, we won. It's nice to have a stack here, just because we can just take these fights against some Indian miner. And just win some more score off that. Only point two though, which is weird, because this is a show superiority war. But, you know, it is what it is. Cars? Ooh, I shouldn't take this battle. This battle's bad. If we can take it before the 30k get there, this could be good. We have enough war score, and the coalition war is over. By the time the truce is over, all of these guys, oh, well, these guys over here, their AE will go down. They won't be able to join the coalition. But the guys on the right, we still might have issues, but... We need to just declare war on them. But now that war is over, finally, we can move our capital to Tahran. Tah one second. One second, guys. I need to figure this out. Tehran. 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 Okay. Tehran. We're going to move our capital to Tehran. And we are going to do uh, invite minorities abroad. And then we are going to make sure our merchant guild, yep, they like us. And yeah, we're going to also make sure we have the estate. We do. And we're just going to dev this up. We're going to dev it up as much as we need to. And there we go. So just round it up to 40 to be a nice number. We have a nice 40 dev province here. And then we will do consolidate Iran. Which is going to give us even more development somehow i can make vijanagar my rival so you know we're just going to take advantage of that and just do a quick humiliation war well originally i just wanted to humiliate and take some gold but seeing that we whooped their butt so hard I, I don't mind a quick show strength before i do though i probably should use some of this to like dev in our capital region all right, our capital, we've dev up our capital region. And we will send them that and we will show strength. And we're back to 100 power projection. Big PP, big PP. It's very good to make sure you keep a very big PP. Finally, we can embrace the institution. We can get our technologies. Now we're back. We're back caught up in tech. So, uh, you remember when I said that was the last coalition? Well, um, I fired a war into a coalition because I was afraid the Ottomans would join. Thinking it would be really easy, you know, quick, whatever. But now we've been fighting for about four years. I've killed almost half a million people. And I'm thinking, what if we just drag this war long enough that we kill a million of them? We got a minus two here. Oh god. We need to keep playing fast because every time I don't pay attention to something, I might lose it. Luckily, we can scorch earth. We don't lose this guy right here. At this point, I feel like the devastation's insane in this area. Yeah, even in Persia. They're down. Oh, right, yeah. We'll just piece them out for some land. Coalition's over. And AE has dropped down significantly all over the place. Somehow I've managed to lose my dynasty again. This time though, it's way worse because having really low legitimacy right now isn't good. But the leader, on the other hand, is okay. As you can see in the span of the last three years, we've had three different leaders or rulers. But I guess we're now the Bahmanid. Dynasty, same dynasty as the Bahman is. Um, you know, <laughs> we'll just keep changing our dynasty. What are we gonna be? What are we gonna be next? Osmangalu. Turned out the 
eight year long war that I had for two provinces against Malwa has kind of made everyone in India bankrupt. It's time for my monarch points, Vijayanagar. And we get to show strength on our boy Vijayanagar, giving us 100 of every monarch power and 30 power projection. Thank you, sir. We conquered a little bit more, but we still have a bit to go with India. Bah uh, Vijayanagar is no longer a valid rival, so Bahman is, is now my new rival, who uh, once we lose our royal marriage, we're just going to again <laughs> declare war on them for... Actually, you know what? Frick the royal marriage. I want to do a show strength war on you, sir. We're rocking almost seven morale. <laughs> seven morale! What the heck? We just stack wiped. We just stack wiped. Okay, I need to see... We need to see army quality comparison. Let's see. The next closest is Cologne with 6.39. Okay, so nations are catching up to us. We're not like completely insane so we just completed our fifth show strength of the game and honestly these show strengths have been so vital in building our power and we're number one world power as well we also completed our religious ideas with that we took morale of armies policy field priests and soldiers prayer books is the one that's what it's called and then edict of resistance and now we're working with 7.3 morale. Alright, let's continue our wars in India. I'm gonna co belligerent Sir Hin for this one. We're moving in from all directions. Combining our religious ideas with the claims, we can now take land for so cheap in terms of aggressive expansion, which we need to stop coalitions. Uh, here's what we're looking at for a coalition map mode. We only have a couple nations that are angry at us Let's see how we fare. We lost all our good generals Even though we still have very high. Let's see. Let's try to roll a better general. Okay, that that general honestly is better than what we had the Two fire zero shock six maneuverability. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that guy, but With now a better general. I think we will just crush this we are fighting with two more morale. And we just had another war against Oirat. Uh, well, this is our first war against Oirat. But, um, yeah, I thought it was going to be epic. But it, it turned out to be just a big disappointment. Um, wait, did I see that right? Vijanagar. Ooh. Once this truce is over, we're going we're gonna to show strength on them. But... Uh, <laughs> What I was going to say is, um, I thought this war would be a little bit more tough, but it was really easy. We just completely wiped them, and now Russia's cleaning them up. Um, and yeah, I think for the last war of this video, we're just going to clean up this area. We're going to declare war on Afghanistan. We're going to do cleansing of heresy. We're also going to co-belligerent Nepal. We're just going to co-belligerent everyone. Make sure we sanction so we have claims everywhere. Amazing, amazing. I think this army right here alone is going to carve through so many stacks. Everyone's running away. Indians are pushing us back. They're actually contesting. They're actually contesting, which is good. Because I was worried that no one would be able to contest me anymore. But it seems if we get into a war with all of them at the same time, it's slightly fair. Alright, here we go. Another battle. This one... Okay, no, they're running, they're running away. Guys, stop running away. I just want to have a nice battle. Alright, well, we on siege real quick. Bengal seems to be pretty strong even though they don't have that many they don't look that big they're actually one of the strongest contesters left in India all right so we uh, completed we completed our wars I think it's almost time for our next uh, humiliation war on Vijayanagar we've been just humiliating them over and over again but the main problem is we have this big coalition that the Ottomans are in 
I think what we're going to do in our next session is we're going to fire into this coalition war because I think we can take them on. Um, I think if also, I think we can also go higher in terms of our uh, force limit since we are making so much money, making almost a hundred ducats a month. Anyways, though, um, yeah, that's, that's gonna be it for this one. Um, and yeah, I was totally wrong about Persia, man. Persia is powerful. And keep in mind that we started as a one province miner. We started as Ardabil. And uh, not like Ajam or Q QQ. We started as Ardabil. And we um, are now uncontested. Even with a huge coalition. We are uncontested. And we have one of the highest quality armies. While also having one of the best economies. And also being incredibly religious as you can see we have converted almost all uh, all of the provinces that we own in india and additionally we can use the islamic uh propagate religion mechanic which is only for islamic religions where if you have high trade power you can essentially put your merchant on propagate religion and he will not only convert your provinces uh, they will also convert other people's provinces it works as if it's like a protestant reformation center or something um but yeah i i honestly think that it's it's only 1621 uh i honestly think you could do a one faith pretty easily with Persia, starting as other people and even as ardabil we'll see how our game goes and how this coalition goes in the next one i'm not gonna promise anything because i'm not really sure if i can do a one faith uh with uh in this game but at the rate we're going right now, we don't even we don't even have max absolutism. We have eight absolutism, and we already are conquering so much and have snaked so much. So as in here in China, we can start going down and dealing with all of this stuff going on over here. And I think that's gonna be extremely valuable. Anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments. Give me some suggestions. Backseat gaming allowed. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.